Guys, I literally just landed here in Cebu, one of the oldest Spanish settlements in the Philippines. This night market is called Sugbo Mercado. It's a market that only happens on Friday and Saturday nights. I heard a lot of great things about it. That's why instead of sleeping right now, I'm right here where I'm supposed to be surrounded by all this delicious food. I mean, seriously, as soon as I walked in, I'm just kind of blown away by all the aroma, by the colors, and the friendliest people ever. Like seriously, all the vendors saying hi, and I generally feel like they're just trying to be friendly and not actually trying to sell me their food, which might also be their purpose, but I feel welcomed, you know? So tonight, I I've really only got one goal. I'm gonna eat the heck out of this place. As soon as I walked in, okay, this booth caught my attention because look at this chicken here. Okay, well here, here, this is this is the owner of Koi. What did you put in there? It's topped with banana leaf, uh -huh. lemongrass, and a spring onion inside. That's make it tasty and healthy. I've never stared so longingly at, at, at a chicken's butt before. <laughs> but like, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what's stuffed inside. And it looks really, really good. And you got a fresh batch coming yeah, out. Yeah, you can, you can see at the back. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go see how they it's cook it. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look at this. All right, check it out. They got a chicken roasting. Now, this is the raw chicken. Oh, wow, you stuff a lot in there. And then you roast it like that over over what? Over wooden charcoal? Yeah. I can just eat it like this, right? It's better to eat it like this? Just get the legs My man, my man. I am so, so excited about this. Man, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it smells ridiculous. I know I'm sniffing like a chicken's butt right now, but yeah, that's where the, that's where the good aroma is, you know? I'm just gonna take off a wing here. Mmm. Dip it up. Oh, I like the sauce already. Oh, good guy. Oh, the flavor is insane. What was blowing me away is how deep this flavor goes. What I love about this country is whatever I'm eating, most of the time it has a nice balance of, of salt and citrus. So this also has the flavor of calamansi. And when you're chewing this, I feel like that's when the magic happens. As you're chewing, as you're savoring, more and more of that flavor just ex exfoliates. And along with the just the wonderful taste, you get a huge hint of smoke. I'm about to just go for a monster bite right here. I feel like there's so much natural oil from this bird, and that's what's giving the chicken moisture right now. The herbs really just kind of resonating, flavoring this chicken from the inside. Like literally every piece of this chicken, from the skin, which is just incredible, to the breast meat right here. It is so good. Oh man, this bite right here, the chicken neck. Look at this. Chicken neck is a very underrated part of the chicken. It's got a great amount of tender meat that's kind of like stuck in crevices of bones. Oh, come here and get this chicken. As I'm just falling in love with this thing, Quinn tells me there's another version of this, right? We have the steamed baby chicken, it's called It's a steamed chicken. Yeah. So it's, it's a soup? Yeah. Wait, wait, so you made chicken soup out of this chicken? Yeah. I gotta have some of that soup. Yeah. Oh yeah, hook me up. How do you serve it? Just like inside the banana leaf? Yeah. Oh, you're awesome. This is the craziest wave I've ever had chicken soup before. He said the, the spices are on the bottom, so I gotta stir a little bit, get the spices. There we go. Get out of town. It tastes like the most delicious blend of chicken broth and tom yum, almost, with an extra hint of ginger. I gotta taste a piece of this chicken that's soaking in here, though. Oh, it is hot. There's not much seasoning on this chicken. You don't need it. I feel like this is when the real natural flavor of the chicken just, just kind of jumps out and roundhouses you with his little chicken leg. But this broth, man, this is just the greatest thing. I'm really trying to pace myself because this is my first stall tonight and I'm sure there's a lot more great food here. I just can't. Mm. Oh, that wing is just like, you don't need to bite this. I'm literally like slurping the meat off this wing. First stall already, just a home run. Can't, can't wait to see what else is out there, but you guys, this is fantastic. Do you want spicy for the rest? I do want spicy, yeah, absolutely. I know this is probably not Filipino food, I don't know, but it just looks like ribs, but I cannot walk past a pile of ribs. That never has happened in my life, I can never do it. I, I just gotta have some. Plus, you know, this will help me eat more food later, I think. Oh, that is hovered in sauce. I'm just going in for the kill here. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, I'm glad I stopped for these ribs. Wow. I thought they would taste just kind of like your regular run-of-the-mill barbecue ribs. Nope. The sauce is not overwhelming, like, like you know, overly sweet or tangy like regular barbecue sauce. It's slightly tangy, sweet, ridiculously spicy. It's charred, so some of it's got a nice little crunch on the top. Oh, that's awesome. The meat is tender. This is seriously making my night right now. This is why I never, ever walk past a pile of ribs. You, you just don't do it. And because I live by that very important principle, I was rewarded tonight. I'm walking by and, and she's making uh, fresh pancet right here, stir-fried noodles. I don't think I've had a good version of this dish uh, since coming to Philippines. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna get some. Got my order of pancet. I'm gonna add a little calamansi juice. And the pancet I've had so far, they all come with uh, cabbage, carrots, the noodles themselves, that's just incredible. And the way she cooked the noodles, man, ah, she's good. Really chewy, al dente. The perfect doneness on these noodles. I'm really lucky tonight because first three food items I had at this night market, all awesome. I know I had a lot of seasick since I've been in the Philippines, but again, I, I can't pass it up. Look. Look how beautiful the eggs are right here. I, I love stirring into the center of an egg. Oh, oh yeah. I know some of you don't like runny eggs. I used to be the same way, but having it over just a beautiful batch of rice, especially one that's soaked in sauce. You see that? Mm. Never had a bad shishik in the Philippines. I don't think that's even possible. All that food's been making me thirsty, and this is uh, the Lemon Boss. I guess she's the Lemon Boss. A lot of interesting flavors, like basil lemonade. I'm looking at this one in the middle. Watermelon basil. Let's get one of this. This is supposed to help boost athletic performance, aids natural hydration. Stress reliever. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I needed that. Oh, sweet, citrusy. Basil-y. That's good after a seasick meal. Okay, tonight I already told you guys that uh, I cannot resist ribs. I cannot resist a nice seasick. Apparently, I also cannot resist crab. So I passed by these guys are young in entrepreneurs selling butter and spicy crab. I gotta support them. You know, it's not about me eating. It's about supporting. But it's also about me eating. He's basically like just breaking it off into pieces, which I appreciate. And it's really hot, so it's a dangerous job. It looks really good. So I got the spicy crab. I love that they broke this up and then stir fried it in the sauce. So the sauce, the chili, the garlic, everything you see here is in all the crevices of the crab. First thing I'm gonna do, this has been calling my name all night long. Look at that. Look at all the amount of garlic and chili that's in that crab. Just slurp all that up. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's spicy. I did get the spicy crab and oh, that definitely delivered. Take a little joint. Oh, that's fresh. The sauce is sweet. The crab meat may be sweeter. Eating crab at a night market, especially delicious ones like this, weather's perfect. Sitting in a bustling night market in the middle of a city I've never been to before. These are the days I live for. They really are. But what could be better than this? This looks so good. I ran into tuna fish collar meats. Gotta get some of this. I am just like standing here salivating over this. That fishy smell is just overwhelming me right now. I think that's mine right there. Oh yes. The skin is still on that fish. Nice. Look at that char. This was not something I expected to encounter, but it made my night even better just to see it. Look at this massive piece of tuna fish collar. This thing they tell me takes 40 minutes to cook. I gotta dig into this. Oh, oh, you guys see how just unbelievably juicy this is. Look at all that awesome tuna meat. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. This is one of the greatest parts of a fish, first of all, because it is so incredibly meaty. Wow, I'm feeling the spice like biting me in my throat. It's so deliciously smoky. The sauce, like I mentioned, very spicy, a little bit sweet. What I'm loving though, mm, nothing is really overpowering or overshadowing this beautiful piece of fish right here. To give you some sauce with this, let me just dip it a little bit. It's flavorful enough. It definitely doesn't need any more salt, but I think this is a vinegar sauce. Mmm, this end piece here, wow. There's like a good portion of fat here. I love tuna fat as much as I love pork fat. 
It is so melty, you know? The fork isn't doing it justice. I gotta just like pick it up and gnaw on it or something. It's a rare opportunity where you can actually pick up a piece of fish, like, like, like a T-bone steak, and, and just take a bite. Oh. I see all that grease and juice just like soaking out of the fish every time I like even touch it slightly. Mm. It just keeps everything so ridiculously juicy. I love it. Love it. When I can eat fish, like I'm eating a rib. Again, I, I can't believe I found this here, but one of the best things I had tonight. I think I'm gonna tap out and start going for desserts because this thing is crazy. Are you guys barbecuing an ice cream cone or something? What is that? So they're, they're cooking it and then throwing sugar on the fire. It just creates that nice caramel, burnt sugar-esque fragrance. This is basically a smoking hot churro comb with peanut butter on the inside and the ice cream on top. It's hot and it's, it's dripping, so I gotta attack this right away. Mm. Ice cream's awesome. Oh. So you need to push down the ice cream inside the bowl. Push it in? Yes. Oh, and then eat it like a shawarma. Yes. You are a genius. So I'm trying to stuff the ice cream into the comb, and then I don't even need a spoon. I just can just like eat it like this. It's all stuffed in. Oh. This is like eating a really tasty peanut buttery ice cream pretzel. What I love about this is the outside of the comb is so nice and crunchy, beautiful tender dough in the middle. Mm. And then just the ice cream. It's like so many textures in one bite. My favorite part of a comb is always what's on the bottom. And we're making our way there. All right, last bite, and you can see the, the peanut butter oozing out of it. Oh. That's, whew. I even had a tough trouble, I even had a problem swallowing that. I was like, oh, no, sticking out my throat. All right, it's delicious. You should definitely try it. Be warned, it's overwhelming. If you want something that's that's super substantial, like the ultimate dessert to, to make you never think about dessert for the rest of the night kind of dessert, this is it. Like, after you eat this, you're done. Yeah, I, I'm done. I need to go take a walk. And guys, I know I haven't been to a lot of night markets, but I definitely think this is a great place. Just the atmosphere is fantastic. This is definitely a very modern, high energy type of night market. It has a little bit of traditional Filipino food, but most of the stalls sell something kind of modern or international. But regardless, the point of coming to a night market is to walk around, have a good time, eat a lot of different types of food, and that's definitely something you'll be able to do right here. So again, the information for this place is located in my description box below. I had a really, really awesome time here tonight, and I'm sure you will too if you come here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'm going to stumble home, so I'll see you later.